What's up, guys? This is Mike here, Casino Comics. Start showing you my latest haul. I've been working a lot lately. Worked 13 hours yesterday, worked nine today, so let's unwind. Let's talk about some comics. Right here, I picked up The Incredible Hulk, issue number 12. I am really enjoying this run of The Incredible Hulk. It's got the horror side on it with all the little metamorphous changes and stuff. It's kind of grotesque. And this one, last issue that you saw, it, The Incredible Hulk defeated the supernatural killer, but the a little girl has been following the Hulk around lately. Her name's Charlie. Was trapped inside a little China doll. So he goes to Strange Academy to get help from Doctor Strange, but Doctor Strange is uh, otherwise busy. So Brother Voodoo tries to help him. He sends him on a quest to help try to free the little girl from the China doll. It's pretty good read. If y'all ain't reading the Incredible Hulk, you need to pick it up. I really enjoy that run. And I picked up The Vengeance of Moon Knight. Issue number five. In the last issue, we found out the Shroud was Moon Knight. So here, Hunter's Moon and Tigra confront him to try to give up the mantle of Moon Knight. And at the end of this book, you'll see it's kind of like a tie-in to Blood Hunt. It shows the Shroud exploding and releasing all the black energy force that him and the other people in the, in the Marvel Universe have. And it blocks out the sun so the vampires can attack. I'm not going to... Pick up all the tie-ins, blood hunt. So we'll see how that goes. Picked up the Amazing Spider-Man. Issue number 48. In this issue, Ben Riley and Hollis Eve are still on a quest to restore Ben's memories. And it takes an awful turn in here because uh, Hollis Eve and Betty Bryant actually have a heart-to-heart -heart about trying to fix Ben Riley all the time and how that leaves you just completely empty. So at the end of the story, Holly Eves takes Ben's to the side and says, uh, that's all we've been trying to do is recoup your memories. Maybe it's a loss. And why don't we just forget about doing it and follow our own path? It was kind of, of a nice fit ending into the trying to get the memories back arc that they've been trying to do. Yeah, picked up Blade. Issue number 10. It's the final battle between Blade and Adana. In this book, they, Adana kind of explains to him the other thing that he's lost, that she's touched him in every way he can, using Dracula's blood, using all the powers that he's got from that, vampires, all that. It looks like this Blade is actually responsible for the blood hunt that's going on in the series of Marvel now. All right. I picked up Daredevil. Issue number eight, 50th size anniversary issue, issue celebrating 60 years of the man without fear. It just has a lot of stories in it. It goes back and forth. It's a pretty good read. It's a nice book. If you're not reading The Daredevil, you should try at least picking it up and try reading one. Yeah, I picked up the Nightwing Annual 2024. It doesn't really focus on Nightwing. It, it really focuses on his ex-girlfriend when he was running around with Spiral, when he was shot in the head. Uh, Babe Bennett, it shows how her, kind of like an original story of how she became to be. It's pretty good read. It's interesting. And the last book, oh, I like my monsters. Right here I picked up Mar uh, Universal Monsters, The Creature from the Black Lagoon. No, uh, I don't know too much about him. I wasn't really a creature of the Black Lagoon fan way back in the day. But it's a good book, and the art is just like in the Dracula Lives that came out before this. It's done by Dan Walters, Matthew Roberts, and Dave Stewart. It's a nice read. Well, that's all the books I picked up in the last two weeks. I hope y'all enjoyed the little short video that I've done. I appreciate y'all watching, and until next time, peace.